Our tropical hazard outlook is labeling the Western Caribbean and Southwestern Gulf for possible cyclone formation over the next two weeks. Global models see a very warm lower 48 throughout the rest of September, and a large chunk of the country looks to receive close to no rainfall over the next seven days. It's September 10th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. NOAA is giving this region of the Gulf and Caribbean a chance for cyclone formation over the next two weeks. We do already have this low pressure system spinning off in the Caribbean. Now there's not much convection involved with it, although we are supposed to see a little bit more thunderstorm activity as we move forward in time in this region. And the Gulf is currently sitting at a record high for this time of year, so we really have to watch this area because we can see cyclones go through rapid intensification when you have waters this warm. Most globals agree that we have a lot of heat moving into the lower 48 and it's going to stick around for a while. Although I do think as we get into early October, we'll see another pattern change. I will say our American model does see a potential cold blast as we get into around September 20th and 21st, so about nine to 10 days away, although there's not really consensus on this quite yet. Over the short term, as we push into this weekend, we'll have a sort of omega block setting up. So you can see a little bit of troughing out west, a little bit of troughing out east. And then we have this large ridge in the center of the country, which will be pulling up a lot of heat. There is a potential, I think, for some close to record highs in this region. And unfortunately, that warm air, again, is expected to stick around for a little bit. We have absolutely no severe weather to talk about today. Just some general thunderstorms. Portions of Oregon, the Northern Rockies, and the Western Northern Plains may see a decent amount of rainfall over the next five days. Although right now, it's not looking too excessive. Southwestern Colorado is another area to watch. And Florida, any drought issues you may have been experiencing may be solved with this amount of rainfall. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your questions. I'll see you in the next video.